Hi guys, this is Omer from MLS.com, and I'm doing a quick first impressions gameplay video for Adventure Quest 3D. A fantasy MRPG developed and published by Artix Entertainment. I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Adventure Quest 3D or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MLS.com on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's it's the follow-up to Adventure Quest Worlds and Adventure Quest. And the company behind this is best known for Adventure Quest. Probably the coolest aspect of this game, though, is that it's actually multi-platform, meaning it's available for both PC, Android, and iOS. So we'll go to Red Hair, and look at that booty. There is, unfortunately, no boob slider. We have a skin color and warrior. We have warrior, mage, and rogue. So three playable classes, which is a bit limited, but it's probably because it's available for both mobile and PC. So let's just jump into the game right now. It does feel a little bit odd because there is no background music. Uh, there's only blue dragon and red dragon. I'll go with blue dragon because blue is my favorite color. Zombies... Uh, well, I couldn't read the tooltip, unfortunately. So you can see the game right now. I did see the game's Kickstarter video, but beyond that, I have never played it before. We will go ahead and skip this, though. We get we to start off in Dragon Watch Keep, WSAD, and pretty simple controls. Okay, over here. Graphically speaking, it looks kind of like a browser game, but then again, Adventure Quest is probably best known... Well, the company behind this, Artix Entertainment, is best known for their browser games, so that's not a big surprise. Who are you? Your that rat looks mega evil. Holy shit, that... Zorbok. Meh. This guy's clearly trying to take over the world. I'm the super cute, cuddly, and 100% good guy mascot character of Adventure Quest 3D. Uh, clearly, I don't think he's a good guy. Pop quiz. What's worth a zombie eating your entire family? What? Nothing's worth... Whoa, look at that face. Look at my teeth. I got some pretty solid teeth. And my hair is almost in the way of my vision, but not quite there. And I'm liking the booty shot that we got going on right now, too. Even better. Uh, tutorials. I freaking... Oh, honestly, Zorbok, you are 100% correct. Honestly, who, who likes tutorials? Kind of force you to click things like the entire first hour of the gameplay. Spits. But good news, I found the guy responsible for making those kinds of tutorials. Meh, meh, meh. I'm already liking this game a lot. Very clever writing the dialogue. Uh, yep. Found them and pushed them right into that undead army's path. What? You know, I am A-OK -okay with that. Honestly, I would give you honor. I will commend you, Zorbok, for what you just did. Because games that force you to go through a lengthy, mandatory tutorial always suck. Uh, Alright, figure things out. Zorbark, are you evil? Evil? Evil subjective, a socially constructed term. But yeah, I'm 100% evil, baby. <laughs> uh, may I get moving? The open beta isn't gonna play itself. So yes, I am doing this video in the open beta. So this guy's awesome. I I'm already loving the game as I'm writing. Open beta, uh, I don't really wanna talk to you. We are good. I hate tutorials. I hate them. Who are you? No, I don't wanna talk to you again, bro. We got it. Kill three skeletons. Again, graphically, it's not that impressive, but it's, it's probably because it's going for the mobile as well as PC like compatibility. Very few games actually manage to pull it off. Cool narrator voice tells us. Playing some other video game. Arr! Oh no, we gotta help Sally. Back in my day, the undead were 2D. <laughs> and of course, that's kind of a throwback to Adventure Quest regular, as well as Adventure Quest Worlds. Let's keep a hold out a bit longer. Remote just logged in. Yes, Remote, we're saved! What level are they? Uh... <laughs> Really low level. Oh no, I let Sally down. I'm sorry, Sally. They're stuck in the tutorial. No, Grampy, I'll save you. We're <laughs> this game does a really awesome uh, writing, though. A+. Plus. I did love the fact that a game like Twin Saga from um, Area Games also had really good writing. Really good writing. But why? This game got a T for teen rating. That's no excuse. When we get the soap back out. Rawr. I got the skeletons just chilling while they were talking. We're counting on you. Oh, we gotta help them. They're gonna wish they never did something. So we click on them, and the combat seems pretty straightforward. And you do have this little wheel on the bottom right. If you've ever played a mobile MMORPG, whether it's uh, the, all those Japanese ones by Abismo, Abismo Online, or um, or the ones by um, Order and Chaos Online, you almost always have this wheel on the bottom right. Also, for Forsaken World Mobile too, <clears throat> and that's basically to allow you to do mobile stuff a lot easier. Uh, I guess just left click is an auto attack; it does it automatically. Turn it once you turn it on. And we got our four abilities: we have Vorpal Strike, we got Rending Cut. As well as Whirlwind and Warcry. Honestly, honestly, for a game like this, I do think the selling point is the fact that it's available on mobile as well. Because otherwise, I feel like it's nice to have it on PC as well. But it seems it seems a little bit odd because they did kind of hold the graphics back and the scope of the game back by making it, you know, for a PC game, you know? That's why on mobile it's fine. We take the keep. There's another story. We don't have to watch these, do we? Now we're good. Skeleton Slain, click on this. Complete. And even the game's interface is very uh, similar to Adventure Quest Worlds. I did play a bit of Adventure Quest back in the day. I think a lot of us veterans did, you know, older guys. Mr. Take the Keep. Uh, I don't want to read through this, unfortunately, but we're going to do it for the quest. Guardians. So we did get. Now we kill four more skeletons. Nice. But you do have WACD controls and basically four abilities right now. Oh, look at that sick jump we just did. 
And I guess we gotta go down this path anyway. And I love how these skeletons are just chilling. They're not even attacking me. They're just waiting for their turn to do combat against me. We're gonna use our whirlwind. Oh man, massive damage. Easy. This guy's just chill too. Oh, he's an elite skeleton. Doesn't matter, we got him. Curious to see how combat works. I mean, there's gotta be more than four abilities. Quest ready for turn in. But again, this is the game's tutorial. And for a mobile game, it, again, it looks kinda decent. But I don't think it looks as good as a game like uh, Order and Chaos Online 2. Or, uh, again, those Japanese games. Torum Online is one of them too. Let's go and kill these though. But it, it's nice. Uh, it's a nice addition to the roster of games from Battle, from Artics Entertainment. They have a pretty loyal following, and I remember I did have a lot of fun with Adventure Quest. The Adventure Quest was kind of a single player game, basically. Whereas Adventure Quest World was actually the MRPG. I'm attacking the wrong guy, I gotta kill this dude over here. Chatted with Gaz. Where's Gaz at, yo? He's over there? Let's go talk to him. Are there players over here too, or am I still in the tutorial? No, we do have other players running around. So the game is real on Steam too, obviously, but again, you can play it on mobile too. Hey you, come here. What's going on here? Undead Invasion? It's a nasty one. He seems pretty chill about the whole Undead Invasion thing. And who are you? Who is Gaz? World famous purveyor of used weapons and armor. So you steal things from the battlefield and sell them. Gaz would never. Is it stealing if they're dead? If, if you loot a dead soldier, I feel like it, it doesn't belong to them anymore. They're dead. So it's yours. It's not stealing. Alright, it's just scavenging. Right, whatever, let's get out of here. Let me give me some new weapons and stuff. Nice. Uh, we can we can shop with them too. We can grab our. Oh, we want to. We don't abandon that. We want to go. What does travel do? Nothing. All right, we're good. We have find the warfiend. Where's the warfiend at, yo? And it does point you in the right direction. And there it is. There's the warfiend. It looks like. I'm curious to see what the town will look like after we get out of the tutorial. Quest ready for turning. Nice. That was it. All right. Easy. Get that. Get that sick loot. The numbers are on the very on, uh, quite a bit on the low end, which I actually kind of like. So many games kind of start your combat off with doing like thousands of damage and hundreds of damage. Here, your numbers actually start off small. We have eight damage, ten damage. So the numbers get you know, are starting off small, and they do get bigger later. Do they kill this guy now? The villagers rescued zero out of six. Where are they at? Back out over here. And it's kind of silly that the monsters don't aggro you, but it's just the way it is. Interface seems very, very straightforward and simple too. We have our inventory over here. We have two potions. To we have ten potions to use if we want them. We have our menu, multiple classes over here. So the game did have a multi-classing system. So can we buy a mage, for example? Well, are we are we a mage now? Are we equipped? What? Are we good? Uh, we are equipped. Are we, are we, really, we're a mage now. There we go. We're a mage. So you can actually level every single class if you want. I do say every single class, but unfortunately, there's only three playable classes, so it is definitely a bit on the low end. So are there levels? There's gotta be levels. Let's see our. Uh, so interesting. Uh, there. There's no progression on these guys? Maybe in the tutorial, but there seems to be no progression over here. Interesting. Maybe there's a character sheet we can see the progression there. Maybe the classes themselves don't level? We have inventory, quest log, travel, potions, friends, settings, upgrade. So maybe the progression is more item based where you get better gear? No, we do have. No, JK, we do got the levels down over here. There you go. So we are a level 2 character, and oddly again, the individual classes don't seem to be leveling. So we just level ourselves and we have access to every class. Whereas in a game like FF14, you can actually level each individual character class separately. Here, you seem to be able to just switch between them. Let's use number one. So choosing a character class at the beginning it wasn't really locking you in at all. Kill these guys too. Nice. Hand this quest in. And we should probably be almost done with this tutorial zone rather quickly. Skeleton invader. Oh, we gotta kill these guys on the ground, these invaders. Nope, just more skeletons to kill. And after this, I imagine we kill the big boss in there. And then we're done with the tutorial. The combat does feel a bit janky, and again, visually for a PC game, it doesn't look great. But if you look at it from a mobile perspective, honestly, there aren't that many Western uh, free to play mobile and more pieces out there already. So there's really a handful of them. So if you want to play a mobile, uh, one of these games on the go, it's not a bad option, but it does feel a little bit basic. Again, you do have your hockeys too, two, three, and four. That's why I'm not actually clicking on these most of the time. I'm just mashing my hockeys. But it does seem very, very basic. I mean, playing a PC MMORPG with uh, these keys. However, if you get really far on mobile, you know, and you're on, you're on the go a lot and you like mobile games, having the PC option is not bad either. And for recording purpose, I actually prefer on PC anyway. It's much easier to record on PC than mobile. All right, we did this. one more skeleton. Oh, not this, not this guy. We gotta kill this guy. We're good. Uh, use our lightning on him. Boosh. He's like almost instant cast. There's, almost, there's like no casting time at all in this game. And if you've played the Adventure Quest games, it does have a very peculiar art style, and they continue that in this game. But again, I'm going to say the strongest aspect that I like a lot is the fact that the writing is, is really clever. I actually really enjoyed the Twin Saga writing as well because it was clever. Alright, we got this spare cartwheel. Nice. Go over here, grab it. 
and you just right click on it and we are good to go. I'm gonna ignore the enemy attacking me because it's easy peasy anyway. We're not getting a lot of XP for these anyways. Our XP meter is below our mana bar over there. What's our next one? Do we have to kill the big boss yet? Elite Skeletons defeated. Where are the Elite Skeletons at? Yo, these three? We got them. I kinda wanna switch back because I was killing them way faster with my whirlwind attack as the... Let's go and switch back right now. Can we do it in the middle of combat? Let's go right to a warrior, equip. Nope, you can't do it during combat, shucks. All right, we're doing it now. Eh, might as well finish it with this. And we'll try the other class too, why not, you know? All right, he's done. One more over here, he's done so too after this. All right, quest is done, easy. And defeat the big boss, and after this we can probably get out of here. So let's try, we have four classes actually, guardian as well. So perhaps other classes actually unlock as you, uh, as you play a bit. We need to buy this one. We don't have that one yet. Oh, we can equip these. Does buying cost money? No, nope, we I, just lets me buy them. Oh, not eligible for that class just yet. So maybe you got to play a class for a while. I don't know. We are a rogue now. And again, we're still level two, even though we just switched into a rogue. So we'll get kill credit for this probably just because everyone else is attacking anyway. But it doesn't matter. It'll probably give us kill credit because it's a tutorial. Boosh, there you go. I can't believe we really did it. Gaz has seen them. Whatever, complete. And let's get out of here. Go to teleporter crystal. And we'll see what the main town actually looks like. I'm curious how many people are playing. I did not look at the scene charts before I hopped on. Is this it? There you go. And even like the animations between zones and teleportation, it does seem kind of low budget, but the game is still pretty early on in development. Uh, it is open beta, and it does seem like a, a genuine open beta where it's not quite done yet. Teleport to battle on. Let's get out of this tutorial. Something strange happens. A mysterious voice. Your world is in danger. Okay, that's basically telling us the main story. Dragon, monster lords, ancient evils. Of course an ancient evil, you know? You want to pick a generic enemy, just go with the ancient evil. And then kind of describe it later, you know? Just throughout the ancient evil, and then by the time they get the end game, you'll figure yourself out and then describe the story then. Players with gold names over their head were something. So now it looks like we're in the persistent world. And it is a persistent world MMORPG. That is worth mentioning too, because again, like I said, on mobile, there aren't really many genuine MMORPGs. All right, this place seems kind of empty right now, though. But there's only two servers, so maybe the other... Maybe I picked the empty server. All right, now we get more... There's quests everywhere. And I guess from here, we just, the game kind of opens up. You just get the quest that you want to do. This guy looks pretty rough, pretty mean. Uh, defeat, troll quest, easy quest. I feel like the travel button is, like, a, an option to travel to your quest location. But it doesn't, like, let you do it. Can I not get this quest? Abandon or travel? Uh, track quest, there you go. That should be enabled by default, because if it's not enabled by default, people will get lost. So that is a bit odd. Uh, M, where's our map? Do we have a map? M does not bring up your map, oddly enough. Maybe you can find the map elsewhere. And maybe, tab, maybe? Nope. From here, maybe travel. And it lets you teleport around. It, it honestly feels more like Adventure Quest Worlds, and it feels like a 3D game. Honestly, the game's visuals seem a bit deceiving, because there are certain expectations in a game that looks 3D like this. I want to click M from my map, but, but I can't. So I gotta kind of find my way around, and it just seems kind of odd that there's not an easy to access map over here. Uh, Z, my hockey's not doing it. But it really just feels like uh, maybe an upgraded version of Adventure Quest Worlds. But I kind of like Adventure Quest Worlds because that game really lent itself to the 2D look and feel. And that's why it was pretty fun. All right, let's get out of here. We gotta find something to kill. We gotta find these uh, Trollocs. Maybe travel from here? No, you can't You can't click the travel button to get there automatically. And there's premium currency, of course. We're not gonna add any of those just yet, though. We'll find our way outside town this way and kill some of these these Trollocs. So the multi-class thing is, is kind of nice though, but it just feels kind of odd that we're not... Fun fact, something never stops. Skip this as well. So we can see other players running around here. People do play the game. There are people on the game, and I think as people discover it on mobile too, it'll do even better. These guys, they're so cute. Can we kill these guys? Yeah, we can kill them. We got other Geffa and Tom the Basic. That guy is so basic. And let's see. Do I get any skill points for my leveling up? Or we've got nothing. we got my bonuses over here. So progression seems to be just basically... Well, your character page is actually on the official website, too, if you click on that. But progression seems to be more gear-oriented, as well as just getting levels. It does feel odd that we have the multi-classing system without individually leveling them up, though. And I, I guess Guardian is the is the pay class. I don't know how we get them. I'm not eligible for that one. Let's go back to Warrior, though. And again, it, it does all share your experience. It's a pretty... Honestly, I feel like this is a game you could recommend for younger audiences because it's a good introduction to the genre. But there's a lot more there's a lot more games that offer a bit more depth. I feel like the writing is great, but it does feel very, very basic is what I'm is what I'm feeling from this game right now. 
But yeah, uh, I mean, obviously we'll look more into it, but if you guys do want to play Adventure Quest 3D or just learn more about it, do check the whole review on MLS.com on the link below. And look at those sick wheel car look at those sick uh, flips. You don't get the flips every single time. They copied WoW. We got two flips in a row. Can we get three? I don't think we can. But I remember in WoW, if you got like four flips, you were god tier with your Night Elf or your Blood Elf. But anyway, guys, later. Look at that booty.